It's Sunday and I nearly forgot to recap some of the new release beauty products that have been revealed, sneak peeked, launched, whatever this week. So let's do it now before I forget again. There's a few new things from Too Faced. I'm just going to say these are not very good. We've got two palette collaborations with Pop-Tarts. There's a brown sugar cinnamon and a frosted strawberry. Surprise, surprise, these look like all the rest of their small little chocolate bar palettes and all those random holiday ones. There's a pink one and a brown one. Oh, shock horror. If you've got some Too Faced palettes, do you already own these? Probably do, yes, but they're available now if you want them. A new Better Than Sex mascara-ish thing uh, is coming soon on their website. Now, what is this? It's the Better Than Sex foreplay. <laughs> uh, and it, it, this is not necessary. So what is this? Good question. Um, it is actually a primer and a mascara in one. Uh, so it's supposed to lengthen, thicken, lift your lashes and improves mascara wear for 24 hours plus. Blah, 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 oils, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you need to remove it with an oil-based or waterproof makeup remover because it's obviously waterproof. But it can be used as a mascara because it's got black pigment in it. Or it can be used as a base to another mascara. Is it just me or do these look hella spidery these i i don't i don't know why this is coming back and here they show the wonder of the before the when they're using the primer by itself so obviously it's black it works as a mascara and then with the foreplay mascara primer and the better than sex mascara over the top firstly i don't see too much of a difference and if i was to prefer one it would be just one layer so i don't know, i don't know why you need two mascaras they just want your money twice natasha denona has had another palette revealed unofficially uh i there must be a marketing plan behind it let's be real uh so this is the new mini eyeshadow palette starlet uh five shades they're very pink there's some nice moby tones um i like the swatches these metallics just make my eyes very happy. I also like these tones. I'm not a huge pink, pink, pink mascara, uh, not mascara, uh, eyeshadow fan, but I love a cool toned uh, pink or nude. So I would actually swatch this in store. I think it looks, yeah, the rose goldy color. I just, I just want to like put it on my eyes and just bathe in it a little bit. Apparently, this is available in Europe and in only Europe at the moment, but it's coming to the website and all other stockers sometime in the future. Uh, it is the uh, Hourglass New Veil Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation. Um, lightweight, instantly boosts skin's moisture by 52%, hydrates for a dewy, healthy-looking glow, uh, provides comfortable coverage... I don't know what that means because coverage is the level of coverage, not the finish of it. Uh, it's supposed to last all day, et cetera, et cetera. 18 shades. Um, let's have a look at the shades. There you go. They do look very shiny. Um, I am, I would get a sample of this. I don't think this will suit my skin. I'm always on the hunt for something that's a little bit more hydrating and that makes my skin look a little bit less haggard and tired, um, but that lasts all day. They brought out a nice illuminating foundation that looks gorgeous on the skin. It just wears off on me. That's my only problem. So I don't have any faith that this is going to wear all day on me, but I like the claims. And as I get older, I'm like, I, I am listening, but I will get a free sample before I buy one. I still don't know what this level of coverage is, but um, yeah, it looks nice. And 83% said skin felt smoother, looks and feels smoother. Great. I do. I do need that. Thank you. Last thing for this week, uh, Pat Patrick Ta are releasing a new double take cream and powder blush duo in the shade She's Wanted. It's a stunning deep berry shade, Grapes. Uh, wine. Looks wine to me. It matches my scarf. Uh, if you've got deeper skin, this would be gorgeous. I've heard great things about this formula. I have personally not used it, um, but nice addition. You're pretty. You're pretty. So yeah, there we go. Um, coming. I don't know. I'll leave in the in the description. Coming sometime soon.